the Kentucky Department of Education releases their 2023 school report card. It details data and evaluates school districts from across the state on everything from academic performance to school safety to how they prepare high school graduates for adult life. We dug into what those numbers reveal about JCPS and what areas Superintendent Marty Polio says have room for improvement. Kentucky Department of Education officials say the 2023 school report card reflects the lasting effects of the pandemic on student learning. Statewide, just under 30% of students were considered to be chronically absent. There's going to be a lot of support and encouragement needed from administrators, teachers, family members, community members to help us get kids back into school on a regular basis. Meanwhile, in Jefferson County, Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio says he's proud of the progress the district has made in its proficiency rates, especially at the elementary school level. Almost 70% of JCPS schools increased or significantly increased their reading and math score. If we take overall all of our students combined, we had every student group increase in reading proficiency across the district. We saw all of our student groups either increase or maintain in math proficiency across all of our students. The graduation rate increased to 87%. The graduation gap between black and white students is now 2.4%, down from 5% in the 2017-2018 school year. Another area that showed improvement, last year JCPS had 34 schools in what's called Comprehensive Support and Improvement improvement or CSI status. CSI schools are those whose state assessment scores ranked in the bottom 5% statewide. This year we had nine schools exit CSI status, meaning they went out of past other schools and went out of the bottom 5%. Along with our data from last year, we've now had 22 schools exit CSI status in the past two years. But there are other areas the district is still working to change. For example, the district's school safety scores. As part of the assessment, the state identifies what are labeled as behavior events. The label describes instances involving things like assault, weapons, drugs and alcohol, or other events resulting in state resolution. There were more than 92,000 behavior events in the 2022 to 2023 school year. That's up from 69,000 the previous year. The data shows 640 of those instances involved weapons. When asked about this, Polio said while the district is working to improve school safety, the numbers don't paint the full picture. I think you would need to look at what it means by weapons and what that distinction is. And so I think sometimes weapons, and yes, you know, we had it reported, I think, about 26 handguns last year. So 650 weapons does not mean that. I mean, there's a variety of ways that can be defined from a pencil or a pen um, to, to other things as well. If you want to see the full report, head to this story on wave3.com.